I'm Jonathan Higgins, scanner expert for Scanner Master. Operating a police scanner with GPS scanning. These are the following unit and radios that are GPS capable. Clean slate scanners. These radios need to be programmed for those areas that you're looking to monitor. Along with programming the frequencies and talk groups and sites, you also need to program in GPS information for each grouping uh, with a latitude and longitude. With pre-programmed scanners, the database originates from radio reference. All this information is located in the background in the database. So it's not necessary to program in the latitude, longitude, and radiuses for each group on radio reference. So how does this all work? We're going to explain this. And these are the radios. We just want to go over that. Clean slate scanners are the 15X, the 15, the 346XT, the 396XT, the 996T, XT, and P2. Those are our clean slate scanners. For pre-programmed scanners, those are your Home Patrol series scanners. 436, 536, Home Patrol 1 and 2, SDS 100 and 200. We're going to use Mayberry as an example of how GPS scanning works. As you can see, Mayberry is circled on the map, and you can see that it's pretty spread out uh, throughout a large area. So what we've done is we've determined the center point of the town, um, and then we've determined in order to cover the city limits and just outside of it, we've given this a six-mile radius from Mayberry. So here's Mayberry on the road map. As you can see here, we've got our Volkswagen Beetle, and we're going to show how this works as the car goes from left to right on your screen. So first off, we're entering Lakeville with a four mile radius. As you can see here, Lakeville is red with a large outline, black outline on that circle. That means that that system or group is turned on. As we continue traveling across the screen, we will see that Lakeville is still on because we're within that four mile radius. And we've just entered into the six mile radius of Mayberry. So now these two are on, so we're hearing any communication for both Lakeville and Mayberry. As we make our way further across the screen, we've gotten outside of the radius of Lakeville, so that that is now turned off. So the scanner has turned off Lakeville because we've entered outside of that radius. Now we're within still Mayberry, and we've entered into Sumner and Newport. So we can hear all the communication as we travel on the road here from Mayberry, Sumner, and Newport. As we travel further across the screen, we've gotten outside of the six mile radius from Mayberry, so that's now turned off. Sumner, Newport, and Boone are now on because we're within those radiuses. So what's basically happening is the little GPS antenna that comes with the kit is receiving from the satellite latitude and longitude of where you're at. So the scanner is constantly updating as you're traveling. So once you enter and exit a radius, it would turn it on or off. And that's exactly what we're showing here on the screen. So all the scanner is getting is latitude and longitude from the satellite. And then inside the scanner with its programming is determining where you are and then turning those things on and off. Programming GPS coordinates and radiuses are on the following in the programming, basically on the group category and trunking system sites. That's where GPS programming is done. So if you were using a clean slate scanner, you would be programming the information under the group category and trunking system sites. Let's take a look at some examples. So the group category, as you can see here from radio reference, we're taking a look at some conventional frequencies. This also applies to trunking talk groups as well. So we're looking at some conventional frequencies for Bridgewater, Massachusetts. In order to cover that community, it's a five mile radius. And then we see that there's a center point with latitude and longitude. So when we travel into Bridgewater, these uh, channels will be turned on 
uh, Bridgewater Police, Bridgewater Fire, and the Public Works. So this is conventional. This also would be the same thing for a talk group grouping. With trunking, there's an added component. Each site on a system will also have latitude and longitude. As we can see here with the Rockbridge Regional Public Safety Communication Center, there are two sites here, a north and a south site. We're looking at the north site. And then we can take a look at the south site, and there it is right there. So each one of these sites would have its own latitude and longitude and radius. The reason for having this on smaller sites and larger sites is it increases the scanner speed. Let's say this was a statewide trunking system. It would take it a while for it to check every single site for a control channel. With GPS scanning, it knows exactly where you are and it's going to, ch it's going to monitor the sites that you're within range of. And as you can see here with the smaller system, if you're in the southern part of the area, the south site would be on. If you're in the northern part of, the, of this area, the north site would be on. So that's how it will work. As you travel, you would turn on talk groups for that particular area and also turn on the sites that you're closest to. Once again, here are the uh, scanners that are GPS capable. We have both the clean slate scanners and the pre-programmed scanners. As a reminder, the clean slate scanners need to be programmed for the areas in which you want to monitor. If you purchase a GPS, you need to program in those systems. Because you have the GPS, it's not going to program it automatically. You need to program in those systems into your scanner along with GPS, latitude and longitude for each group within that scanner. With pre-programmed scanners, those are coming from the nationwide database, the latitude, longitude, and radiuses, which are programmed in on the radio reference database. We can't physically see it on the computer screen, but it is programmed in there in the background of radio reference. So if you're using the full database on any of these pre-programmed radios, you'll have latitude and longitude in the background. And also, if you're creating a favorites list from this database, you would also have latitude and longitude. The one important thing to keep in mind when you're doing a clean slate scanner or a pre-programmed scanner, you have to have the programming enabled for GPS scanning. That's definitely a key thing. If you don't enable that, it will not do GPS scanning. The basics on GPS scanning, if you're using the older style unit in GPS, it'll have a round hockey puck antenna. The baud rate should be set to 4,800. For the newer GPS kit that we're currently carrying, which is the BCS GPS kit, the baud rate needs to be set to 9,600. To set the baud rate in the radio, you need to go into the menu settings and then go to settings, set up GPS, and then set serial port and then set it to the appropriate baud rate. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to Scanner Master on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and make sure you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Give Scanner Master a call Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time at 1-800-722-6637. Shop us online 24-7 at ScannerMaster.com.